Good morning, Facebook world. So for today's video, I've been thinking about this one for quite some time. I want to give you guys a behind the scenes glimpse of what happens in a day of a life of a mobile groomer. So right now we're getting ready to take off for my first appointment. I'm leaving my home in Bonnie Lake and I'm headed to Puyallup. together it makes them feel a little bit more secure so whatever's easiest for them is fine by me so I bathe them together they're on the table together um, and then they go back in the house together and I'm here for about an hour and a half and everybody's happy this is my bathing system everybody gets a couple of gallons of water and one to two ounces of shampoo and it gets mixed in here um, and then this warm sudsy water gets sprayed over Lucy and Max and that's how I clean them. Everybody gets the blueberry facial. It's the last thing to go on the dog and the first thing to be rinsed off. Soggy doggies are ready to be towel dried and blow dried. Here we're ready for blow drying. He'll stay wrapped in a towel till it's his turn. I'm gonna do her first and then I will turn this on on her head while I'm blow drying him. Now they are both dried and fluff dried, so I can go ahead and shut my generator off and switch to my inverter power. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. And now it's haircut time. Hi, pretty girl. Gotta do her face and her feet. Now it's Max's turn. I pretty much only trim his feet these days. He's quick and easy. I am done with Max and Lucy, so they're gonna go back in the house, and I'm gonna make my way to my next destination, which is a lunch break. I have an hour until my next house, so I'm gonna go show you how I eat in here and what I do if I do take a lunch break. outside LA Fitness at the Sunrise Village in Puyallup. I come here for a couple of reasons. One, Abraham is always with me at work and I like to take him for a walk here. And two, I'm left alone here. When I go to a park for lunch, I get bombarded with people with their dogs wanting me to groom them on my lunch break. And I usually don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so I come here because it's private. I eat my lunch. Sometimes I clean the van. I've washed Abraham here before if he gets into something. Um, it's just a nice private place and I like to watch the airplanes go by. So let's take Abraham for a walk. Look at mama's baby. Oh, Abraham. Oh, Abraham. Oh. Okay, Abe and I just went for a quick walk and now it's time for me to eat. Um, so how I eat in here, um, unless I want to go get fast food, um, I'm too tall to go through the drive-thru so I have to actually do the walk of shame to go get my tacos. Um, otherwise, I use what is called a Hot Logic Mini. It plugs into my cigarette lighter up front and it cooks food in here with a hot plate in about two hours. So I have a Costco salmon patty that I'm going to eat today. Um, I can cook all kinds of things in here. It doesn't bake. It just kind of steams things in closed containers. So I can bring leftovers. I can do these salmon patties or frozen TV dinners. This thing is awesome and it's been such a huge game changer for me. Something else that I've done in here is this hole used to be a kennel. I never used it. I took it out and I added a mini fridge. So here's where I can keep some small snacks. I love V8 and Powerade. I have apples. Those are hard boiled eggs on the top. I have some cheese sticks in here. Um, it just kind of helps eliminate the need to stop for food. So I like my little space. 
something that is super important for me is I have to make sure there's Abraham. I have to make sure that everything is in its own designated place for when I'm traveling or things come crashing to the ground. So I keep everything in its own designated home. Down here I have muzzles and um, foil and gloves or if I do color. This side I keep my cleaning supplies. Clorox wipes, 256, vinegar, um, purple power. I use those on my blades. Um, but everything has its own home. And then I know where everything's at. And I try not to keep too many random things in here just because I will run out of room. Um, it's pretty much the main tour. I've got my bathtub here. Um, I can fit pretty good sized dogs. This is where I keep my towels. I use absorber towels. Most mobile groomers do. Helps keep down on laundry. Um, the towels soak in vinegar water solution. The vinegar water gets changed every single day. The towel gets changed usually every two to three days um, and it just rings out, gets the dog super, super dry, super handy. That is my laundry chute. So my dirty towels go in there and then I take them in the house to wash them. All right, now that lunch break is over, I'm headed to my second house and I'm gonna bathe him. Most of my time with my next two dogs is going to be spent blow drying. So I'm going to do these next two dogs in fast mode so I can get through it. And you guys have all seen detailed operations of what it means to do a blowout on a big hairy dog, which is what I have back to back. Let's go. Right, I am here with Sadie. Hi, honey. So now we're gonna get her in the bathtub and get some of this fluff off of her. Um, and you guys have seen the mess in here afterwards. I'm not going to be as thorough with vacuuming after I'm done because immediately after this, I have another Husky. Um, I'll get the big chunks obviously, but the small little ones, there is no point. <laughs> spend as much time as I do on the road you find places that are your favorite and this is my favorite gas station the 76 uh, in the Fred Meyer parking lot I love this place the bathrooms are super clean everybody in here is so nice and they have really good coffee as far as gas station coffee goes it's creme de la creme okay I am leaving the petroleum station why did I say that why am I like this I don't know so I'm leaving here. I have to keep my tank at half a tank or above or my generator won't kick on. And that's a fail safe that Cummins has for the generator so I don't get stranded anywhere. So I'm topped off and now I'm headed to another big D shed blowout. Here we go. Buddies. thing that I have to pay attention to is my water level. So I have 50 gallons of fresh water every morning 
and it goes down into a gray tank which is about two-thirds of the way full and I've got one-third of my tank left which leaves me enough to clean out my tub after this mess and do my next dog we are ready to blow dry my headphones in I have my beekeepers hat on I have a mask that has little respirator filters on it but I can't find it and you cannot buy masks anywhere right now so this is gonna have to work until the coronavirus is gone Nikki, it's a mess in here. This handsome fella is done. One more stop, here we go. My friend Fergus, look how cute he is. So I do something a little different with him. He does not appreciate his head being blow dried anymore. So I groom his whole head before the bath. Oh my gosh, you're cute. Okay, now that he's bathed and toweled off, I'm going to get him dry. But he doesn't appreciate the dryer, like I said, so I use this one on him. It's just a human hair dryer, and I just do his whole body with it. So that means I don't even need to turn on my generator. I need the generator for my air conditioning unit and for the big dryer. And if I'm not using either of those, I can be on battery. He's dry, time for haircut. love this old guy. Well, I'm gonna take him back in the house and I get to drive home but the fun doesn't stop there. Are you ready to go home? I would like to go home too sir. You've got hair in your hair. All right let's go. to finish what it's like to be me.